All right, so for the French flag, 3.7.7, I have the solution over here. I want to kind of walk you through as I create it so I can kind of explain why they did what they did because um, there's some things that might be a little confusing. So, again, it's wanting us to create a a French flag. The third left of the canvas is blue. The middle third is white, and the right third is red. So we need to create it using rectangles. So if I go here and we look, um, the first thing is we need to create the rect width and the rect height for all three of these rectangles. And so um, we can use this get width function. Um, If you go to docs and you go to here, you can go to graphics, go to canvas, we'll realize that we can get the width of the canvas uh, and the width or the height of the canvas. And I can tell you that both of those um, (coughs) are going to be So the width is uh, 400 pixels and the height is 480 pixels. So that will help us as far as understanding um, what size canvas we're using and how to kind of do our, uh, our math, okay? So I'm gonna go here and <clears throat> let's go and go into function, um, start, and go ahead and put our brackets. And so the first thing is um, we're going to come up with the rect uh, width and the height for all of these rectangles. And so since I know the width, um, I'm going to create three rectangles. Then I want to take the entire width of our um, of our canvas and divide it by three. And so that will mean that each one of the rectangles is going to be uh, a third. So it'll cover the entire. So we'll go let rect width equal. And we're going to go just the get width function. And we're going to divide it by three. Okay. To give us the height, the width for all of our, uh, all three of our rectangles. Now notice we go let rect height or that height is going to equal just get height because we want it to span the entire top and bottom of the, sorry, I'm trying to type and talk, uh, the, the entire canvas. So we want to the width to be in threes. We want the height to be the entire size. <clears throat> now inside of this, um, <clears throat> I can create my rectangles. So I'm going to create my uh, first rectangle, we'll call it blue rect. And again, equals the new keyword creating a new rectangle. Now here, where we would put the width and the height, if we were creating it uh, ourselves, we are going to uh, use this guy right up here because we've already created the width. So we're going to just pull that down and go rect width is going to be for the x-axis. And then we can use rect (coughs) height for the height. Okay. So our new rectangle, our blue rectangle is going to have the dimensions we just put up here. And now we need to set the position. So we're going to set blue rect. Again, we don't use let again because we've already created this variable once. We're just calling it again, dot set position. Now we know that circles, uh, the middle position is the middle of the circle, the uh, the radius. For rectangles, it's the top left-hand corner or the tef- top left-hand um yeah, corner. And so here for position, we want the blue rectangle, since it's on the left side of the um, the flag, to be at 0.0. So this is 0 on the X, 0 on the Y. So it is going to um, <clears throat> start on the very left of the page, and we'll look at it in a second. Let's go here. We're going to go blue rect dot set color. We want to set to the color blue, and we want to add the blue rect. So let's look and see when we run this, what happens. All right, so notice the 0.0 is right here, okay? And it is half, there's a third of our canvas, and it is all the way to the bottom of the (coughs) y-axis. So we've added our blue rectangle. (coughs) Now, you can add your white rectangle. If you wanted to, if you wanted to go and you wanted to add your white rectangle, uh, then we would change some of the positioning. Um, we don't have to, but let's go ahead and do it just in case. So let's go here. Uh, and so I'm going to let, uh, I'm call it white rectangle. I'm going to do all this new rectangle. Then we're going to do uh, rect, um, width. 
I'm sorry, I'm trying to do two things at one time. Um, <clears throat> new rectangle, rect width, and then it's going to be rect height. Okay, I don't need that. I was trying to do two different things. All right, and now I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to go uh, white rect dot set position. Now the difference is I do not want my x axis, uh, my x starting point to be at zero because I already have blue here. <clears throat> so I have to figure out <clears throat> if I have, if I know this is in thirds, what can I do? Um, well, I'm starting with one. I'm starting with one. So let's go in and see if I can go and I do. Um, well, I mean, you do a few different things. We could go in and we could do a uh, rec width times one. Okay. And then let's go ahead and pull over uh, zero because we want it to still be uh, zero at the top of our flag. All right, let's run that. Let's look at the uh, white rect dot set color and let's go color white. Now we won't see the difference until we actually finish the other one, but let's go ahead and create uh, this white rectangle uh, and see if it works, okay? And then we're going to add white rect, okay? So I wanna double check, there's no errors, okay? Now again, I don't see this, but it should hopefully be here in the rect position of taking this and timesing it by one should start the place over here as far as where this white one should start. So we're taking the width of it, which is the entire thing, and we're multiplying that width times one. So it's almost kind of like one third. Um, but again, I won't see it until I know. So let's go in and let's finish up uh, this last one. So we're going to go let red um, rect equal new rectangle and we're going to go rect width and then rect height um, we're going to go um, red my mind is going nuts red wect <laughs> dot set position now here uh, I'm gonna do the same thing but I'm gonna do rect width times two because I wanted to go over two place values. I'm going to keep the top at zero. We're going to go red rect dot set color. And let's go color red. And let's go add red rect. Whew. All right. Now let's run this and see what happens. Okay. Uh, red rect set position is oh, P O S I T I I. Okay. Go there. Now I created it. So now what happens if I get rid of this guy? So let's get rid of him. It should still work. And it does because what happened is um, this is automatically created because I've set my position for my third one to be times two. So it's really zero, one, and then timesing two gets you that third of the way there, which is why I would do the rect width times two. Okay, and that's why knowing the width and be able to manage that width is going to help with this particular one. So you could put the white in there if you want to, or you can leave it out. Either way works.